of the Technical Achievement Award. Gunjan, thank you very much. I knew I would get in trouble when I held up a copy of Hackers uh, two years ago. Uh, it's my pleasure today to introduce Argosami Alraj for the Technical Leadership Award. He has had a career that spans India and the United States, uh, universities and business. He started in India and was in India for about 20 years where he introduced, uh, he was known for military sonar, massively parallel computers, I'll have to find out from him how they programmed those. Uh, and he was also uh, the, the founder of three national level labs in India. He was a member of the Indian National Academy of Engineering. From India he came to Stanford and at Stanford uh, he is He's known for a technology called MIMO, sometimes called MIMO. Now I could tell you that it stands for multiple input, multiple output, but this is not the place to do it. The more relevant thing is to say, if you use Wi-Fi, the antennas and things like that that you use, the technology that he's been working on is, is a key to that. He's also a founder of companies. He founded IOSPAN, which was acquired by Intel. In, IOSPAN was a pioneer in MIMO. So it is my pleasure. Uh, he's, oh, I, I forgot. He's uh, a member of the National Academy, of the U.S. National Academy of Engineering, and has had uh, awards uh, from the IEEE, a Technical Achievement Award. Those are just a couple of the awards. His list of awards is very long. So it is my great pleasure to uh, introduce and uh, offer the award uh, for technology leadership to Argoswami Paul Raj. And the ability to convince the Navy to sort of switch over. 
uh, I was not great at attending classes, but I spent a lot of time in labs and at the, in the library. And it's really a, a wonderful stay for me there. <laughs> My two big mentors were Professor Indurayson and Professor Tata Rai. And I did I still keep in touch with them for the years since the, uh, the last day. <clears throat> Uh, we have many challenges in the world today, and uh, certainly we know all about that. But one challenge that I keep talking about for India is to grow a high-tech industry. We import almost all our high technology. The, the commercial jets we fly in in India, or the, the, or the telecom, or the computing infrastructure, or the cell phones and laptops that we buy, or the precision instruments in the hospitals are all imported. Probably the only, the only positive element is really our pharma industry, which is uh, of which they have good manufacturing base and some innovation. But uh, we certainly can, we need to do much more there. Uh, China and it has shown the way and, uh, and, uh, and I think we can do it. So that leads me to a small story about IIT Delhi, which I want to relate today. I have at least three, three experiences of uh, where India actually did high technology way above what is done in the West. And one of them was actually at an IIT. And here's the story. So what happened was after I went back to the Navy after two years, I was back in general duties, uh, 1971, December, we had a war with Pakistan. And we lost a naval ship to the INS Kukri, and lots of, a lot of lives, 170 lives. So the Navy sort of called me up and said, Paul, can you look at the sonar, which was, the ship was sunk because uh, it couldn't detect a Pakistani submarine and uh, she was torpedoed. So I was taken to Bombay to look at the sonar, because that was also installed in other ships, and the war was still on. And then I when came back to Ivy Delhi this time to run a project with a couple of graduate students and a couple of scientists we borrowed from the Defense R&D. And we actually put together a new sonar, sonar system uh, using the same uh, transducer, the old one, which is remarkably better than the British design sonar that was in Kukri. And uh, that was when production ice installed in all the ships. It was, I think, had many ideas, well 